So today we're going to be looking at plant defences and against um, pathogens to include the production of chemicals and plant responses. This is taken from the OCR specification for A-level biology communicable diseases 4.1.1. So obviously plants can't move away when they're being attacked, so they've evolved a number of ways to help prevent themselves uh, being attacked from diseases. So these include the use of chemical um, chemicals, uh, wax cuticles, bags from trees, cellulose cells, walls. Um, but instead of healing disease tissue like animals, they just seal it off and sacrifice it. Um, when a plant is attacked, Receptors on the cell surface membrane detect the presence of the pathogen and stimulates the release of signal, signaling molecules. These molecules trigger response inside the cell, um, producing defensive molecules or chemicals, sending alarms to un unaffected cells and strengthening their cell walls. Uh, that last bit there is um, cell communication, and that is taken from an earlier specification point. So physical defences. So when plants are attacked, they release something called callos. You don't need to know in this structure. This is just a diagram to show you um, what it looks like. And there's three ways in which callos depositation can help the plant. First of all, callos can be deposited within the cell walls themselves to reinforce them with lignin and also reinforce them with lignin. This provides a thicker barrier for the pathogen to penetrate through, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. It also blocks the sieve tube end plates. You can see here, this is the phloem which you learn about in transport in plants, and it blocks the sieve tube end, pl end plates in the flow room. Therefore, um, products can't flow through, assimilates can't flow through in translocation. It also blocks the plasmodes mater, which are these tiny little gaps here between cells. And this um, basically helps to seal off the healthy cells from the infected cells. There are chemical defenses that the plants use as well to repel insects or kill the pathogens. They've got tannins. These create a, be a bitter taste. For example, you know when you eat those salad leaves are a bit bitter? That's because of tannins. Now, this is the one that's more popular on the mark schemes. And by, by mark schemes, I mean multiple choice questions. Very rarely have I ever seen any questions about chemical defences in plants. So um, I just make sure you're aware of these, but I won't look into them in too much detail. They also have insect repellents such as pine resin and lemongrass. You've got things like insecticides such as caffeine acting as a neurotoxin. You've got things like antibacterial compounds. I have seen this on a mark scheme before, the antibacterial compounds within a resin. And these disrupt the cell wall and membranes of the bacteria. We have antifungal compounds. and These break down the, the chitin in the cell wall of the fungus. <clears throat> and anti -umicides. Uh, these break down the cell walls of fungi like, and again, I've never seen that one on the mark scheme at all. Uh, we've got general toxins as well, such as cyanide. Other things that, uh, that they use as their defense, it's silica in grass. Uh, this acts uh, a bit like gra uh, glass. So, for example, herbivores that eat a lot of grass have teeth that grow back uh, very, very quickly because it does break down. And also, there is evidence to show that things like invertebrates that eat a lot of grass that contains a lot of silica don't grow as well. So things like caterpillars don't grow as well if they eat a lot of grass that contains silica. Okay, so that is the plant defense against <coughs> pathogens um, to limit the spread of pathogens. The main thing that they really like here is the callus depositation. So make sure you read up on that. And the chemical one is the tannins, which is the bitter taste. So just make sure you know those, those two main ones. And remembering your exams, guys, we are not using the words amount, it, they, or size. Guys, good luck.